Hello guys, welcome to Fireways Workshop and in today's video we're gonna be performing another experiment on Tinkercad, not on Orcad, Tinkercad. Now we're gonna be simulating a full bridge rectifier in today's video. Now full bridge rectifier has already been completed on Orcad as well as in real life as you can see from the sum of the clips that I've included in my video you can see on your screen right now so for today's circuit this is gonna be the circuit diagram and this is how the simulations are gonna look like so let's get started let's just fire up Tinkercad so so I'm not gonna be covering the theory in this particular video because I've just covered up the theory of the uh, full bridge rectifier in one of my videos that I made in which I just simulated this experiment in real life so you can just check out that video if you need the theory part for this particular video but however your faculties are just gonna explain you the theory part so let's just simulate this circuit because that's the aim, main aim of this video you just like I'll just like teach you how to build this circuit on Tinkercad now first of all what we're gonna do is for this particular experiment we're gonna require a breadboard okay so we're gonna import a breadboard and you have to just select like, the components you all don't just like the basic one so just select it to all I hope you all know this thing anyway so let's just drag this breadboard alright use the scroll wheel to zoom it out a bit and let's just drag and drop our diode so we are just not gonna take Zeno diode in this particular case be please be careful please just read the label of the diode so this is the normal diode this is the PN junction diode so we're just gonna place one diode over here just be careful of the placement of the diode we're just gonna orient this in a particular way so just be careful now we're gonna orient this 180 degree and just place it like um, two rails away from the first diode Similarly, we're just going to rotate this diode as well, 180 degrees. This, so these, these two diodes are going to have the same orientation and this one will be 180 degrees shifted. Now let's just import the third diode. And this is just going to have the same orientation as the first diode. Alright, so your diodes have been imported. Okay, let's just import the power supply. We're just going to import a function generator, not a power supply. Please be careful of this one. I just don't want the students to simulate this circuit using a power supply. Alright. And now we need oscilloscope over here we've got ourselves a nice oscilloscope so we need two of these oscilloscopes alright so that's all guys and we need a resistor as well to act as a load so resistor is just placed in the journal component so we're just gonna drag and drop the resistor just gonna keep the orientation in this way only so it's just better just to keep it this way only let's just hook up the circuit okay so let's just first of all hook up all the diodes and stuff so I'm just gonna select a red color and we're gonna hook up these two diodes I'm gonna select a black color hook up these two diodes and I'm just gonna select a yellow color and we're just gonna connect these diodes now I'm just following a particular schematic over here so just be careful just copy my circuit as it is your circuit is gonna work alright so our circuit has been hooked up so let's just hook up the function generator so I'm just gonna hook it up to here now don't just like hook up this wire to over here because these terminals ain't connected to nowhere so only this terminal has been shorted to the diode so this rail is shorted to the diodes and this rail has been shorted to the diode so you can just connect it at either either of these places don't just connect it in between okay these two rails ain't shorted to nowhere so just be careful of that one so let's just hook up this one as well okay here we go and let's just hook up our oscilloscopes I'm not just gonna make the uh, connections for my oscilloscope like as neat as possible because let's just hook, hook it up I don't care for this particular part because otherwise it's just gonna take a lot of time I just wanna make this experiment as quick as possible alright let's just change the color code alright so here we go we are all ready let's just change the parameters for our function generator we want the frequency to be 60 Hz you can simulate it at 1 kilohertz as well it's not a big deal but you have to just change the time base of your oscilloscope according to your preference according to your frequency I'm sorry just gonna set the DC offset to 0.00, .00. set it to sine wave so your function generator is all set 
let's just set up this one so I'm just gonna go with the time division of three milliseconds on both the scopes so how did I found the time division to be three milliseconds use a calculator okay just gonna open up a calculator one divided by 60 that's gonna give you the time period for one wave so this is about 16 millisecond alright so this is this will give you the so what is 3 millisecond 3 millisecond is the time duration for one particular division in this oscilloscope now you can see this has a grid so this particular division is equal to 3 millisecond alright so this is how I just calculated what kind of time base I need for the oscilloscope so this is all set so let's just start our simulation there you go so we are getting the required output waveforms so this circuit is performing as it should so this is how the full bridge rectifier is stimulated on Tinkercad now if you wanna learn more about this circuit just check out my video by clicking on the pop-up i button in which I simulated the experiment on real life and I used my own oscilloscope so I had it I have a two channel oscilloscope in my lab so I just used that to simulate the circuit I showed the input and output waveforms and all so you can just check out that video by clicking on the pop-up i button and you can also check out this particular experiment on ORCAD as well so you, you can also just click on the pop-up i button again and just check out this that video as well if you are interested to do this experiment on ORCAD because in on ORCAD you just like get a bit more freedom so over here I can't just like add a filter capacitor otherwise the software is just gonna crash so it just takes a lot of time to just load up this like load up uh, the simulation for the polarized capacitor if I just place a 220 microfarad polarized capacitor so it will just take up a lot of time because I've just tried it out and it ain't working it ain't working at all so you can even you, you can also try it out if it just works on your computer so but in my computer it ain't working and it is not just it's not because my processing power is limited it's because this simulation software is not that I mean it just it just can't uh, use the multiple threads and multiple cores that are available to it okay so this is all for the video guys so thank you so much for watching so don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye